Hi, I'm Sean Gann, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about percent of change. We're going to find each percent change to the nearest percent and state if it's an increase or a decrease. So, if I was given this problem from 4359 feet to 5377 feet. So from 4359 feet to 5377 feet. Well, first things first, is that an increase or a decrease? And it's an increase. We're going up. So it's an increase. I'm right at there. So now let's go find how much of an increase, how many feet increase it is. All right. So we took we take a large number, subtract from the bottom. So we have five, three, seven, or take the bottom, subtract from the top. Right. Top number minus bottom. Four, three, five, nine, subtract up. 7, 9, I oh, can't do that, right? So I take a 7, make it a 6, 17. 17 minus 9 is an 8. 6 minus 5 is a 1. 3 minus 3 is a 0. And 5 minus 4 is a 1. So we have 1,018 uh, as our subtraction direct answer here. It's a feet increase going on, right? So we take that 1,018 divided by our first number, 4, 3, 5, 9. And that comes out to be, using that good old calculator here, 1018 divided by 4359 comes out to be approximately 0 0.2335. Yeah, that's good enough. So 0 0.2335. Well, I can convert that to be a percent by moving the decimal two units to the right, 1, 2. I'm left with a 23.35%. So if 23.35%, uh, I need to round to the nearest percent because it asked me to. So that 0 0.3 right here causes this 3 to round down. So we're left with just a 23% increase. So let's recap here. We start with from 4,359 feet to 5,377 feet. And I first saw that that was an increase right we're going up. So I wrote it down right here first. I then found the difference between the numbers, two numbers, I took the large number subtracted by the smaller number to get 1,018. I take that 1,018 and divide it by our first number, 4,359. Uh, that decimal come out to be approximately 0 0.2335. I take that uh, 0 0.2335 and move the decimal over two units to convert it to be a percent, right? Convert, move over to uh, two decimals to convert that decimal to a percent. So we were left with a 23.35%. But I needed to round that, so I round to the nearest whole number. So the th this three here causes that three to round down to keep it a three. So we're left with a final answer here of a 23% increase.